Well, hoi hoi YouTube, my name is Bran and I'm your host of TYT Gaming or my personal channel TBS. Today's video is about the evil empire known as EA Games. They're causing quite a stir among Dead Space fans for their new edition in Dead Space 3. Of all the original IPs of the current console generation, I have to say Dead Space probably has one of the most loyal fan bases out there right now. And they're extraordinarily vocal. Dead Space, for those who don't know, is a core survival game with a lot of atmospheric elements. It has light puzzles, but you're mostly playing it for the survival horror shocks in action. From EA's perspective, the series has sold pretty well. Initially, the original game didn't really meet the sales target, but over time it would sell 2 million copies, and the sequel would actually outsell the original, selling something like 2 million plus copies in only a few weeks of release. In other words, the franchise has been a success. Anytime a game sells between 4, 5, 6 million copies, you're guaranteed to make money off it. However, in an interview with CVG, and the link will be in the description below, the president of EA Games said Dead Space 3 has to sell 5 million copies for the IP to be considered financially successful. To put this in perspective for a moment, let's think about DICE and EA Games for a moment. They put a lot of money, and they sunk everything to Battlefield 3. They dumbed down elements of the game to reach that Call of Duty audience and get a piece of that first-person shooter pie. The result? Battlefield 3 is the best-selling Battlefield of all time. Something like 15 to 18 million copies sold already. EA can invest in certain IPs and get the most out of them from a sales perspective. Dead Space 3, however, is going to be a little bit more dumbed down than Battlefield was. It has universal ammo, which makes the game a little bit more easier and takes that degree of urgency out of the game. Imagine you're going down the corridor and you only have three bullets left. That was the Dead Space 1 and 2 experience. Now you have, let's say, 200 bits of ammo left. This game is also introducing the cover system, which appears to be Gears of War inspired. There's also a cooperative multiplayer rather than a competitive multiplayer that was in the second game. In other words, this game looks like it's more directed towards the action gamer and attempting to broaden the base, as EA said. Of course, we all know this. People are adverse to change no matter what. If you ask for my opinion, yes, it appears Dead Space is moving away from the survival horror elements that made it popular. Us hardcore gamers, we're in the minority, however. Remember when Grand Theft Auto changed the top-down view mode from GTA 3? Remember when Resident Evil 4 departed from the series' roots of zombies and became more of an action title or a movie? Remember when Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence added that new camera angle when everyone lost their mind? Every time these changes happened, people got angry, they were saying now the franchise sucked because if this happened, everything about the franchise sucks and demeans the entire titles. Personally, I do enjoy co-op and I love the gritty and open environments that they're giving. Do I think these changes are absolutely necessary? I'll leave that up for you guys. What I'm more concerned about is releasing this game in spring 2013. And I keep saying this because it's probably going to be true. If Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out 30 days from your game's release, you delay your game. They're releasing this in spring 2013. They need to move that release date. So in your comments below, tell me, do you think Dead Space 3 will outsell the first two? And what are your thoughts on the new changes? Do you think it's departing from the series roots? Do you think it's just adding to the series roots? Tell me, do you think it's going to detract from your experience? As always, everyone, you're watching TYT Gaming or TBS, hosted by Brandon.